I think we're supposed to greet each other. Oh, I, I we're is for that you. happening? Hi, Lisa. Hi, yeah. Ellen. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi, Ellen. It's so funny. <laughs> so, Lisa. Yes, ma'am. How did you get involved with this thing? <laughs> <laughs> you asked me. And why would I do that? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yes. So when I received an email from you with this project and I read it and listened to it, I was like, absolutely. So beautiful. This story. I'd never heard of this story. However, I had, I did see a workshop of this, uh, I don't know, a couple of years ago and um, was really moved by the whole story. So that was an er somewhat of an earlier incarnation. But, but I mean, even the fact that as a director, you have a skill set coming at this where you can like read music and understand music and appreciate music. Yes, I really appreciate it. And Peter's, what Peter has done musically is just so beautiful. I love our last conversation that we were having just about also um, where you were coming from, Peter, and the mm. music aspect of it and where your impulses and your, the research you had done and kind of where you were you know, the things that you were looking at and listening to. Um, yeah, the show is set in a good, in a really great time period, you know, for music. <laughs> um, mm -hmm. I mean, at least for me, there are a lot of my favorite music is from that sort of early 20th century period. Well, when I first read it, I, I had seen it before in some version. Um, reading it, this version though was, um, I was really struck actually by all of the men and all of the relationship with all of the men. I mean, there's the men and then there's the women. I was just really struck though by the relationship with all of these men and, and these characters who were coming together to work somewhat as a, you know, is it, they work a little bit as a unit and, um, by the time period and understanding actually also to the situation uh, with Montclair, I have worked in a lot of universities in graduate and undergrad programs all over the country. And um, one of my favorite things to do is to work with students um, at, and at any point in their career, I'm still coaching. I still do a lot of coaching and I have some online STEAM study classes. So um, I love how open students are actually, and working with the imagination and creativity. So, um, and working on a piece like this, that's in development, or that's quite far along, but that's still in development to actually see something manifest and um, on its feet with bodies in space and hearing things. Um, it's a really exciting opportunity uh, for people who are in training also to be working on something like this. I mean, it's an extraordinary opportunity, um, but also for us too, to, it's an amazing opportunity for us to be working with students um, to get input and you know dramaturgical thoughts and ideas um, because they'll be the ones who for the first time with this piece will be on their feet with it and will be really exploring it. So we'll be getting a lot of um, feedback from, from them and from all of the input that they have. So that's always an exciting. I know when I was a student working on new things was really thrilling and the fact that, you know, something you might have done or said or might make its way into the piece um, as a collaborator. So because we're all co-collaborators together. So I think that's the thing that always, it excites me about new work and it excites me working with uh, students on developmental pieces. Yeah, I was thinking just the other day about how it, exciting it is that they aren't going to be able to go YouTube the performances right. of people, you know, and that what we're going to get is really going to be, you know, from them as guided by you, Lisa. Um, yeah, exactly. You know, and there that it's probably uh, exciting and maybe that's going to be nerve wracking for them, but hopefully it will be, you know, thrilling to be the first person really to, you know, have, mm -hmm. have played these roles in a, in a full production. Yeah, there's nothing like the idea that we're going to be premiering this, that mm -hmm. they're, they're gonna be the first people 
to actually perform a full pr production. Mm -hmm. But that there's something about um, being witness to, and being witness to the story and being witness to this man um, who nobody knows, they don't know who he was, but everyone wants to be related to him somehow and wants, wants in on that because of the, the whatever hole it is that they have within themselves that he fills. Uh, he could potentially fill. And so I think there's something about witnessing that that um, could be very powerful. Just gonna say goodbye until I see you both on Sunday when we are going to continue working on the piece by this exciting Zoom format, um, which is better than nothing uh, because the piece is never finished until uh, until never, <laughs> really. Well, we just had a really great session like two yeah. weeks ago with this format and, you know, was able to, we were able to play some music and go through the script bit, you know, literally moment to moment, which was very useful. And, you know, depending on what happens in the fall, we don't know. There's so many things that we don't know. But depending on what happens, I think that we're, we, we're beginning the language and conversation of how to work in this way in this format. And so if we need to do that and have this conversation, I mean, this, this format is actually quite good for development, at least. Like you can sit around and you can talk about things, you can listen to things and you can have dialogue about it. And so we're, I'm game, I'm game for anything. Okay. We'll make work, we'll make yeah, it work, whatever too. we need. Me too. See you soon. Okay. Okay. Bye guys. Bye, have a good week, bye. <laughs>